Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my makeup every day for school. So if you'd like to see how to achieve this look then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so first thing we need to do is prime our face. So little side note, I uh, I have to wake up at 5 in the morning to be ready for school. So I keep this routine as short as humanly possible so that I can sleep in. So I am just going to use my professional primer from Benefit. Okay, and next up it is time for foundation. So I like to keep my makeup that I wear to school pretty light so it's not super duper heavy on my face all day. I just use this BB cream. It's from Maybelline. It's in shade 110 light slash medium. Um, and I just apply it with this brush from Ulta. Next up, we need to conceal the bags under our eyes from our five hours of sleep from the night before. So I use this concealer. This is the Infallible Full Wear Concealer from L'Oreal. It's in the shade 345. Yeah, so I just put some under my eyes, my chin, a tiny bit on my nose, and then the center of my forehead. And then I just blend it out using a beauty blender. Next, I just set everything on my face with my airspun setting powder. This is just their uh, translucent one. So I put the majority of it where I put that concealer and then I just take a tiny bit on like a really big fluffy brush and I apply it all over the rest of the face. Next up, it is time for brows. So I use this um, brow definer pencil from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is in the shade Blonde. As I mentioned in my vanity tour video, this is the palette that I use every day for my everyday school makeup. This is the 25B palette from Morphe. Every day I use the shades Image, Seek, and Topaz. I also like to use the same brushes every day. So first I like to take this um, eyeshadow brush from Miss Amay. It's basically like a not so stiff, not so fluffy blending brush. Um, and I take Image, just put it all in my crease. Next up, I use this brush. This is the crease brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And I take just a tiny bit of Seek and I mainly put it in my outer V right here. And then when I kind of run out of product, I bring it in more like that. And then I just go back with the shade from earlier, shade image, and I just blend it all together. For the very last step, I take the shade uh, Topaz on my pinky and I put it all over the lid. And I just take my previous brushes and just blend it all together. Next step for me is eyeliner and I use this um, gel eyeliner from Physicians Formula. It's in the shade Black Velvet and I just put it halfway on my waterline and halfway on my lash line. So now that that's done, it's looking a little crazy. So I like to take this stiff blending brush from Sonia Kashuk and I just blend out where I put the eyeliner. Okay, so it's a lot better now. It's much more subtle for school. Once eyeliner is done, I go ahead and grab my lash curler and my mascara. This is the Voluminous Superstar X Fiber Mascara from L'Oreal and it's in the shade... Black is black. Hmm, quite like my soul.
so almost done it's time for lipstick this is seriously my favorite lipstick of all time maybelline superstay matte ink liquid lipstick this seriously will stay on for 24 hours i'll be honest some of their darker shades and like their reds don't really stay on as well but they still stay on better than any other lipstick i have ever used i highly highly recommend these i'm gonna be using shade 65 seductress Ooh. scandalous Another side note about the Maybelline liquid lipstick, it does not make your lips feel sticky. I hate nothing more than when my lips are like dry and sticky. Ew! The fact that this one stays on all day and it doesn't make my lips feel dry or sticky, highly recommend. Our very last step, it is setting spray. This one is the Morphe Prep and Set. It's from the Jeffree Star collab. And here is the completed look. Alrighty, you guys, that was my everyday school makeup routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as always, let me know down in those comments what type of content you'd like to see from me in the future. If you could also leave a like and subscribe and ding the bell. It would seriously mean so much to me. Um, thank you guys so much again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!